Hello, this is Brandon Zoris, and this is the last video in the Osamook Twitter 101 series that I'm producing here. Um, I just wanted to share with you um, TweetDeck, which is a really cool application. Um, and I just wanted to show you kind of what it is and uh, how to use it for interacting on Twitter and participating in a tweet chat because it's actually a little easier to use a, a tweet deck I find. Um, this is on a Mac and this is the tweet deck app but you can also access it from the web. Uh, what tweet deck does it adds all the different columns of things so I can have a home column, um, I have a notification column, I have a hashtag column so I can kind of manage my Twitter all at once. So the hip hop ed chat that's happening and the reason I just chose that one is that it will automatically load the tweet chats to the next kind of tweet that comes up real time. So I don't have to click uh, going on and hitting refresh. All the tweets with the hip hop ad hashtag are going to pop up here. It makes it a lot easier when I want to favorite something. So if I saw this one, have it um, youth identify narratives and main characters, hidden message, and then write their thoughts, I want to favorite that because I really like that. I could also retweet it, I can reply. Um, I can actually put that in there. Um, this is talking about uh, storyboarding and comparing actual video, so maybe I really like that. I can retweet it. I can quote it. So here I have multiple accounts logged in, and uh, that will be something a little extra I'll show you after. But I want to retweet. This is from my main account here. So I will retweet that because I want that to go to my followers. So that's also in there. Um, you can also look at different hashtags. So here I have like the TDSB um, gave. Uh, section. We have the Gave Summit hashtag, Steo Chat, Ed Chat, and these are all just some things that chats that I like to participate on. Uh, what's really cool, for example, I saw uh, Russell here. She has tweeted something about uh, question two. We lead Ed. So I don't know what that hashtag is. I've never seen that before. I can click it and I can add that as a column. So I can actually start to see, or I can just view, is there a Twitter chat happening? And there happens to be one on this We Lead Ed. So I'm not really sure what that is. But I can just search through and say, okay, I wonder what this is about. I can see kind of what's happening in that hashtag. So I can find new hashtags and I can find kind of ways to participate in chats as well. What's really neat about the home section is also this will also load in real time as well. So it goes a little fast uh, because this I have quite a few people I'm following. So it's going to keep populating that with the latest tweets. The notifications will do that as well. You can set up messages. You can set up new columns. When you tweet from here, you'll click new tweet. And it opens up a box, and I have um, a few accounts that I help run. Uh, I put that on there. So I want to select, I can do multiple things. So I want to tweet from EdUpHack and my account. It will send a tweet from both. But it's the same pro uh, process. You can do a tweet in here, put the tweet in, add their mentions, add the hashtags, and you can tweet. You can add images. And something that's really interesting that ha comes with TweetDeck, you can schedule the tweet. Um, and I think this is a really good tool for administrators if you're running especially your school's account um, and you want to make sure that a message goes out at a certain time I can go schedule tweet and I can put when the tweets gonna come out so if I'm an administrator I'm not always on Twitter let's say and I want to tell our school have a great weekend or something like that I can schedule the tweet to happen at like 3:30 on a Friday have a safe long weekend or you know if it's a, a international teacher day or something like that I can schedule the tweet so I'm not always reminded that I have to go on and tweet at that exact same time so that's just an example of a way you could use the scheduled tweet feature so if I don't want to tweet it, I just can click the X um, so in ways there I can kind of go back to my um, different hashtags and I can see as they're loading I can see what's happening in my home screen and it's just a way to just check what's happening so if I was more involved in the chat the notification section here would be able to kind of populate faster. So for my earlier video, I tweeted an article about three truths and a fib about language literacy apps, and someone has favorited that. And then also um, I tweeted about retweeted the music videos, um, and this person, Joey, has found that and also has retweeted that. So those are my interactions so far through this evening, which is not very much because I haven't really participated in the chat. You can also go into and you can look at ed chat so here's ed chat that's happening as well and people are putting some things on there so there's different uh, kind of articles or chats or any information so you can search different tools there you can add a column so if there's something that you want to add if there's like say I want to put in um, Ontario ed chat as a column I can add that as a column so I can go down here this is Ontario ed chat I click add column and that will make a new column there as well. So I can add the column and drag them around. So you can move them around kind of anywhere you want. So I want this one now up front. I can move that and I can move things around to different sections. So you have different types of columns that will be around. 
And as I click them, it will show also different ones that have activity happening on them as well. So you can add columns, you can add multiple accounts. So if you have a personal one and a school one, it's a really great way for managing your Twitter. So this is just a quick overview of TweetDeck. Um, there's lots of things online on how to do TweetDeck. You can add more things in there. So if you did want to add another account, you can go to um, add another account at the bottom and then you'd be able to add those in. Um, you can add different things of settings and mentions and all sorts of different things. So really powerful tool. Um, I wish they had an a iPhone app for this, but I, I don't think it's a little too big to fit on there, but it's a, a really great way to um, interact and it's a, kind of like a power user tool. So you're able to um, integrate this and uh, get into Twitter chats a little easier. So that's there. So um, that concludes my uh, five series on uh, video series on Twitter and for education and hope it was helpful. Um, you can tweet to me at, at Brandon Zoris if there's anything that's exciting or interesting going on or you want to add me as well. So thank you and hope you enjoyed.